I, I played in a card game, and I, among the players was Phil Silvers, who was an old friend, and Nat Hyken, who did the show, and Artie Hershkowitz, who was Nat's attorney. And they kept saying to me, when are you going to come join the show? And after uh, one night, uh, Nat and I walked home. We lived in the same area. And he said, I'd like you to come on and, and, and take my place. I said, well, he said, I want to go on to do a show called The Great Montague with Monty Woolley, and I think you'd be the ideal replacement. Uh, well, that was while well, I was still doing the honeymoon or so when I decided, one wonder who I called that and said, is the offer still stand? He said, yes. And, it, and he seemed very pleased by it. And I, uh, I left what at that time was my best experience in writing and went to the Bilko show and um, it may have been my m most humbling experience. Uh, when I worked with Nat, I had the, assumed that I could write anything. I had just come off this uh, monumental success. Uh, I felt fully confident, but working in Nat's presence, uh, I realized that he had a skill and a talent for what Phil Silver's character, Bilko, did that I did not. And I didn't have that his rhythms, his understanding. He and Phil, were, were, were one, was synonymous. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the compatibility uh, was astonishing. And try as I would, I didn't feel my scripts were the equal of what Nat was doing. I worked with Tony Webster, and when Nat did a polish, it was infinitely better. And we won an, an Emmy at that time with our scripts, but I, I went to Nat and said, I'm not your replacement. In fact, I don't think you should leave. And he said, no, it takes time. He was very encouraging, but I, I, I felt... Um, uh, and like a hidden, and there was a melody, something involved that I didn't hear. Uh, and I would see a rewrite, as I said, and succinctly Nat would say what I said in, in many, many words. Um, and the synchronicity between he and Phil was, was to me, uh, the reason the show was working. And I persistently pursued him, and he tenaciously continued to tell me I was the heir apparent. And then an offer came for the Steve Allen show. And I went to Nat and said, I would love to do this show for a number of reasons, uh, which I will, if you want, explain to you. Uh, but if you sincerely want me to stay, I will. But my feeling is you would have left to do the great Montague a long time ago if you felt comfortable with me or really want to do the other show. And he said, you're right, go ahead and do the show. And I said, thank you.